Hi everybody. I was going to videotape this tomorrow when there was more light in the room, but I can't wait anymore. I got my very first Jungle Stand tasting bar today. It's a monthly subscription and it's my very first one I've gotten of this. It's $9.92 a month plus shipping and I'm very excited. Let me show you what it looks like. And when you open it up, it has this great card in it, and it says, Welcome to the Jackal Stand. Oh, hi, me venturous tasters. Oh, I like that. That was cute. Sorry. We're about to bark on a treasure hunt. There are hidden riches in the bar. A taste in here. See, I'm trying to be cute. It's not working. A taste in here is highly prized. It has a flavor known as the Diamond of the Kitchen. Instead of a map, use your taste buds to find it. Arr, X marked the spot. <laughs> okay, again, it's called the Jungle Stand. And each little item, this is what it looks like inside. And let's open up the little... It has six little bites in it. And it also has, oh, they're so cute, little itty bitty tongs. And it also has a little thing of crackers to cleanse your palate in between bites. So I'm actually going to open these now just so we have them. And you know, you wouldn't think it would take a pair of scissors to open up a bag of crackers. But apparently for me it does. So let's just open them so we have them. And each little item is marked with a little color. So again, let's try and get you a better view of this. Okay. So... Each little bag has its own little dot and it has a corresponding taste. So this is the little green dot and these are called red mini peppers. This would probably be fun if you had like a family and you're having like a game night and this is like your adventure for the game night. It, but my daughter is over there and I'm here so we're going to do this anyway. This is called... This is the mini red peppers. It says, there is a delicious pepper, aka pepper logs, cut into small tips and stuffed with cream cheese. The moisture front comes from canola oil. The peppers have a soft texture and are mildly spicy, but don't worry, they won't set your tongue afire. Perfect for appetizers with crackers. So, let's open this baby. our tongs. Okay, I forgot my tongs. These are so cute. I could just kill myself. Okay. Little tongs. They're little bamboo. How cool. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, maybe the tongs weren't the best idea for me. Okay, little pepper. You guys, don't let me forget to pick that up. Mmm, that's pretty good. A little spicy because of the pepper, but it definitely has a mild cream cheese flavor. That was pretty good. The next one is... Did I read you this? Okay, I'm sure I may... No, I'm not going to edit it. This is just me. It says on the little bar right here, it says, before you are six gourmet appetizers. That's one right there. Five of the six are hand stuffed with cream cheese. Fillings are... Fillings can... Fillings that you can experience how textures play a role in tasting. 
Pay close attention to the samples you taste. Strong flavors, similar or subtle, strange ones may provide a clue to the hidden. Diamond in quotation marks. Spoiler alert! Inside the bottom of the bar is an X marks the spot. Will your taste change? Will these chain taste change your life? Okay. <gasps> there is an X. There is a card in there. It's got an X marks the spot. I'm not gonna look at it. You see it? Woo -hoo, that's us. I'm not gonna look at it. Okay, the next are olives. And this says, we're gonna put there so you guys can look at it while I read. Okay. Blue cheese olives. Blue cheese olives. Green olives stuffed with zesty blue cheese. Once you bite into the olives, you'll taste an intense flavor of blue cheese. The subtle saltiness and meaty textures of the olives, perfect complement for the savory cream cheese. Oh. Okay, let's try. Um, oh, these are big little suckers. Those are green olives stuffed with blue cheese. Oh! Those are really good. They really are. I'm at 5%. Okay, we'll do this fast. Okay. The next one is stuffed mushrooms. Ew, it's slimy. This one says, jumbo mushrooms stuffed with canola oil, cream cheese, red pepper mixtures, and overwhelming flavor of umani, umami. Mushrooms are high on the umami scale, rich flavor, savory meats, which is why they're often used at the stand in meats and vegetarians. That's really good. Mm. That is really good. The rich, savory, meaty, which is why they often are used as a stand in for meat and vegetarian dishes. Oh, mercy, that's good. Mm. <laughs> I think I had an orgasm. Um, that was good. Okay, I love the next one. Oh, wow, that's good. The next one is Greek olives. These Greek olives are flavored with mixtures of feta cheese, capers, and canola oil. This taste packs a punch and is very firm, tart, slightly bitter, with a taste and intense bar. Green olives. As we figured out the first time, I'm a big green olive fan. Okay. Uh, this one. This is a pepper ball. Sweet peppers imported from South Africa, stuffed with cream cheese, moistened with canola oil. We've got a cream cheese canola oil thing going here. It's a crunchy pepper, mild, sweet, and spicy. A gourmet appetizer, loosely served next to cold cuts or warm briquette. Mmm. They're really sweet. That is a really sweet 
I know it sounds silly. It's sweet yet a delicate taste that kind of hits the back of your jawbone. That's really good. I'm liking the jungle stand. They call it the tasting bar. I like it. I mean, it's it's not, they're not giving you a huge amount. I mean, it's not supposed to be a meal. It's supposed to be a little taste. Oh, I like them. So these are fungi cheese stuffed olives. Green Sicilian olives stuffed with fungi flavored cheese. The briny salty water of the sea salt of the sea. Salty olives with the earthy cheese really comes together to create this delicious appetizer. I want to go back to the mushroom. <laughs> it's an olive butt. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. oh, that was probably pretty. I think it's because I'm not a big stuffed mushroom fan. I mean, olive, a green olive fan. Let's go with the X. Let's see what it says before my iPad goes dead. Treasure, oh, real name. Black truffle cheese stuffed olives. <laughs> a truffle is a fungi that nourishes on the roots of certain trees. They have a mysterious allure and are quite expensive. Some have sold for as much as 6,000 pounds, for $6,000 a pound. Part of it is because they're difficult to find, available only in certain times of the year, and are notoriously difficult to cultivate. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> anyway. The other reason there is, no, yes, the other reason is there simply is no other food that tastes like a truffle. Some have described an earthly fate, earth, earthy. Some have described it as an earthy flavor, while others have found it syrupy sweet. Truffles are the diamond of the kitchen. Let's go back to the cracker. Okay. So we know, for, for one before my thing goes dead, let me remind you, follow them on facebook.com slash the jungle stand. They're also on Twitter at the jungle stand or www.thejunglestand.com. And I'll put that all in the notes. And I would say of this box, it's my fault. Not, I mean, it's not anybody's fault. I just don't happen to be a lover of green olives. So any of them in here that had green olives, not so much my favorite. But everything that didn't, yeah. And the one that I thought was really gooey and icky and slimy turned out to be my favorite, which was, <laughs> of course, I'm going to have another one, which was the mushrooms. And I will wait till I'm off camera to enjoy this one. This kind of simple. So that was the jungle stand, and they call it the tasting bar, and I'm really glad I got it. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it with me. If you did, please feel free to join my channel, like the video, put a comment, and uh, I've got lots of other videos, whether they're good or bad or funny or stupid. Hey, join my channel. Let's find out. Bye, guys.